Okay, after about three or four days, I've got the burn chamber uh, designed how I want. Now I'm going to uh, make all the final uh, final uh, uh, welds and details and, and uh, things like that. So I'm going to go over what I've got thus far. Uh, it's changed from my original uh, design and mock-up. Um, and uh, again, I'll go through all the, all the details. I put the top on this yesterday after running it all day to uh, just snuff it out. Um, I'm going to uh, put in the six inch um, flu collar this uh, today. But let me take the top off of this real quick and uh, <coughs> we will go over everything inside. Still got to put a couple of handles on this too. Uh. Okay. Okay. The main thing here is that the burn chamber initially was a cross sectional four and a half by uh, nine. Let me take this off. So it was four and a half by nine. So it was the full size of, of one brick. The problem I was having was getting a good rocket effect through here. It would I'd get a lazy float and flame and it would just kind of slowly waft into the into the fire tube. And that wasn't uh, doing what I wanted it to do. So Right here, rather than having these bricks on their side with one across the top so that I had a full full size, I turned them sideways. So now my fire burn chamber is only four and a half inches tall and it's 18 inches long. See what I did there? So we only have a four and a half by four and a half. That's the smallest section of this. That gets the rocket effect in a high velocity See if I can. There we go. Let the white balance adjust. That gets a high velocity uh, through the uh, horizontal burn chamber and works great. So that's what I'm going to go with. And uh, I went ahead and cut an air section in the front. This is uh, three inches high or three inches wide by four inches tall. Um, this is pretty much only going to be used to start the fire. Load this up with paper. Load the top with some wood. Light it like that. Just light it and let it burn slow. You don't really, my, my experience is you don't want the, the air really going right straight through the back. Because then what happens is you kind of get a, you know, your, your flames want to float up and then get sucked down. Well, here, when the air is going directly in the top, it pulls the flame down, and uh, that seems to work the best. So, that's what we've got. So, I have to uh, finalize <coughs> the connection here, um, work on uh, getting the uh, fire brick all mortared in so there's... Uh, no air escaping there. Um, I'm going to finalize the uh, the back door here. Um, don't know exactly what I'm going to do with that yet. I don't, like this, I don't like the sliding apparatus. I want something a little bit more substantial. Um, also, uh, one note is that this should have an ashtray in it so that if you do open this during operation, any hot coals that may be there fall right in here. Now, I have been burning a mixture of different types of wood. And here are some different types of wood. We got uh, probably a maple um, broomstick, something like that. I've got oak that I was burning, and I've got some pine. Now, this, the, all this did not come out of the uh, um, rocket stove. But uh, pine burns fast and hot and works great. Oak 
works great too, but it burns a lot slower and leaves behind a very large amount of hot burning coals. I think that these stoves will work great with a mixture of both. Um, I think they'll work the best with straight pine because it'll burn the ash up really quick. Um, and then, uh, like I say, the coal, I burnt strictly yesterday, burnt, not strictly, but a lot of, uh, a lot of this oak. And you can see, maybe you can see the height. Um, I had ash about this high, hot coals. And I really don't want that much hot coals in there. Um, I want I want it to burn and get sucked through there. So, so that's where pine um, or softer wood will work a lot better than say oak. But we'll uh, we'll keep playing around with that and seeing if we can't get that a little better. So, so the main thing is uh, again the the fire chamber is a four and a half by four and a half, <coughs> and the. This is, uh, let's see, this is nine minus two and a quarter and um, nine inches high. So that's what works the best. All right, I'm going to uh, get busy cleaning this all up, finalizing everything, and I'll come back when, uh, when we got a little further with it. Thanks for watching.